Yeah, I like analysis. it. Yeah. Uh, a lot of talent, a lot of depth, good competition. Um, you know, we got a lot of reps in there, and so uh, we'll watch the film. There's a lot of film for us to watch, but I, uh, overall, energy day one's supposed to be like that, but uh, there's, just, there's a, a different feel to the team this year, and I, and I like it, probably because of the great leadership and the coaching that they're getting. What are your objectives for this uh, next three weeks? Yeah, um, keep the competition going on and start, start to uh, solidify the depth chart a little bit more, but right now there's a lot of great athletes that are competing for uh, limited spots, and so uh, I think um, in the next little bit we'll just get them as many reps as we can and then, and then evaluate and, and see what we've got to go with about in two weeks' time, and then as we get closer to the game, um, you know, solidify the starting spot and the roles and different things that we're going to do with our sub packages and everything. What, what sets apart uh, Jay Hill's defensive philosophy and scheme? I mean, just Jay's been around for a while, and, and like I said, he and I, we see eye to eye on a lot of different things. And so there's not not a lot of things I can I can teach him. He's already got that, you know. So um, I think he works really well with uh, what A Rod's doing, and then they they both work really well with what we got with K Pop and special teams. So. Uh, I, I felt really good about where we were in spring, and I feel real good about where we're at right now with day one. With the amount of roster turnover you guys have had, do you think this is the most unknowns you've had in a while going into a fall camp? Yeah, probably. But uh, uh, the unknowns can run, and they can they can uh, they're very athletic, so that's a good sign. Um, and uh, you know the the uh, the players that are veterans that are here, returning players, done a great job in the PRPs teaching, and uh, you can see it from the the off season that they had. The guys not only look good, but they're understanding the scheme, the technique, and that, that's a huge credit to what the players have done and the leadership on, on, on our team currently. How much, along those same lines, Connie, how much does it take to get the cohesion down? Because when you're coming in fresh, refine, refining all the little things to get everybody on exactly the same page is, is huge for football. Yeah, there's plenty of time to do that. And, and we have, you know, we utilize all the practices that we have, so... Uh, the cohesion's already, they, they've developed a, a good number uh, uh, of time and a, a good amount of time together and in the PRPs. Now they're just doing it with the coaches and being involved and giving instruction and we can get it on film. So I, I feel good about what the guys have already done uh, in the off season throughout the summer. And so, um, and it showed, it, it confirmed what I thought uh, was, was going to happen. I thought what, what took place in the summer was really positive and then it confirmed it today. Sol J, what's his status? I know he's not on the roster right mm -hmm. now. Is there a chance he comes back or is, is he done? Um, no, I think he's done for now, yeah. What about Justin Smith? What was that? Justin Smith. Same thing, yep. Did you and your coaching staff feel a greater sense of urgency in this fall camp, specifically because of the high increased number of guys, new guys in the, in the program? Does it seem like it's going to need to be sped up a little bit? Um, I don't know. I think maybe with the, with the extra reps that we had today and the – Longer practices, probably. I mean, we in order for us to get the competition, you have to give everyone reps. And if you just do it like a, you know, if we had a bunch of returning starters, and then, then uh, you you could probably give younger guys reps. But now we got to compete, so uh, the depth chart's not solidified, and that's we got to form that. In order to do that, you have to get a lot of reps and, and give everyone uh, enough reps to be able to evaluate them completely. You've talked a lot about wanting that depth to continue to improve. How do you analyze that? How do you how do you you know kind of look and see are we are we where I want to be? I mean, there's always improvement, I guess. Oh yeah, there's all the things like the, the uh, alignment and the technique, but understanding the scheme, um, seeing how comfortable they are with with within the scheme, and a lot of that takes place when you get the pads on. Right now, we're just kind of going through the motions, um, but once the pads come on, we can kind of separate some people and and uh, and see who who's who's the you know, who, who's probably the ones that are going to compete for starting spots. But right now, it's important for us to give them all an, an honest look. Kalani, did you ever think you'd be coaching in the same conference as Coach Prime, Deion Sanders? Well, no, I mean, I, I, I'm just happy that, uh, that that we're in the Big 12 going in this year. And, you know, I, I'm glad that uh, Brett Yormark's done a great job as a commissioner. And I, I mentioned in the media days that I, I like his leadership and I'm willing to follow it. And uh, I'm having fun and being part of the conference. And... I can't really say much other than that, but I, I, I respect all coaches that do their job, and, and Dion's done, done a great job mentoring young men. And uh, I, I, you know, I, the, as a fan, I, I liked him when he played for the Niners, and I didn't like him when he didn't play for the Niners. So, but yeah, I, I, I really can't speak for other than that. I just big college football fan, so uh, really appreciate what all the coaches do. Do you pay attention to that stuff much? I know you've got a lot of work to do out here, but do you pay attention to the realignment and all that talk and things? Not really. I mean, I 
especially now, I'm, I'm busy taking care of our team. So I, I, I had to ask Brett real quick, is there anything that I need to know that happened in, in, in the news, you know? And, but I, other than that, I just, I just put my head down and go to work. I, I mean, there's a lot of other people that are, are smarter and have uh, uh, the, the right um, responsibilities that can do all that with the conference realignment and with the administrative stuff. I, I just stick to culture football. I know it's obviously first day of camp and no pads and all of that stuff just because of his position but how good was it seeing Aiden back out there after the, the hand? Oh yeah after spring and not have I mean it almost felt like he's he was already part of us but even though he didn't get a lot of live reps in right. spring um, it was good to see him out there just doing the 11 on 11 stuff and uh, he, he's 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 done a great job and you can see the, the change in his body and he's running really well so it was just I like the way he, I like his size, look how big he is, you know, so it's going to be nice to get him to compliment the other running backs that are there. I, I feel like it's a really good group. Harvey and, and A-Rod have done a great job getting that group ta a talent, uh, full of talent and, and full of skill, so it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, guys, thank you. Appreciate Thanks, it. Ronnie.